A man gets arrested for theft and is held on a $100,000 bond. That's due to a prior record. But what he's accused of stealing this time became a hot topic on social media. 23 ABC's Twilon Nugent joins us now with the journey of a little yellow house in McFarland. Twilon? Thanks, Jackie. Now, it wasn't the home they live in, but it was a tiny house that Debbie Schick was hoping her grandchildren could decorate and play in. You don't take somebody's things from when they've got it fairly. A little house on a big trailer nestled in the middle of a farm. To think that somebody came to our property, the sanctity of our space, and they just felt so bold as to walk away with our possession. The playhouse to be stolen right from the Schick family's yard. It was kind of a roller coaster for a couple of days and you know those kind of emotions I just felt like a limp noodle when it was all over. Debbie's grandson Cameron spent a year building the little house as a class project and at the end of the year his grandmother won it in a raffle. It was pretty exciting when I heard her name being called at the school fair. And I was glad that it was going to be able to come here and we were going to be able to like play in it. But the house didn't stay very long. It was stolen, painted, and posted for sale on Craigslist. I think it looks pretty ugly the way it is right now. Debbie took to Facebook, asking her tight knit community of McFarland to keep an open eye. The community and the Kern County Sheriff's Department responded. Because of sharing it on Facebook, we actually got our little house back. Debbie calls it sharing and caring. After more than 400 shares, a buy was set up with the help of the Sheriff's Department, and the Schick family has a part of their home back. Debbie says she and her granddaughter plan to repaint the house pink, purple, and white to make it their own and brighter than the dull brown color it is right now. Twila Nugent, 23 ABC. Uh -oh.